Hi there, and welcome to Alyssa. My name is Nellie Deutsch. I'm going to walk you through some of the new features, absolutely amazing, on Elicit. So let me uh, notice here, find papers, extract data from PDFs that I already have, or list concepts. What concepts are you looking for across papers? Well, in this case, the concepts that I'm looking for are the following. Uh, AI for research. That's what I'm interested in. So let's see what happens with that. Here it comes. So uh, be patient. And here we are, the final answer. Notice the concept on the left and the source on the right. And uh, the articles that are available. Notice some of these are current, more current than others. But most are current because this is a current topic by, by default, right? So you can go through any of these. Absolutely amazing. All right. So now what we're going to do after we've got our concepts, we're going to go and pin the sidebar open right there. So let's do that so it stays open. Notice what's available here. Home library workflow history list of AI for research. How does the wording of feedback impact? These were some of my other search topics. Uh, I can view them all. Help and guides, contact us, and then notice the credits over here that are available. And I can always buy more credits. And there are lots of them, right? Uh, let's go into library so we can see some of the new features. Notice here, um, you can upload papers or connect to Zotero, which is lovely, right? If you're familiar with Zotero. If not, you may want to take a look. Let's do it. I can integrate with Zotero. Click on connect and I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to connect. So here we are, elicit, accept default, change permission. And there it is. I'm in. So I've connected Zotero with my account on Elicit. Let's go into library once again. Okay, so I can upload papers. I can sort them. Right. Presentation slides, something that I added. Let's uh, go back to Elicit here on the left and see what else is available here list of concepts, and then other features that are now available are fine papers. So let's find paper. AI for research. Let's add that and see what we get. And that's what we got. Here's a summary of the top eight papers. I can copy it or I can take a look at them. They're pretty current. Notice uh, the last one here is 1980. <laughs> All right. So we can uh, f add filters. Okay. Over here. Add filters so that we don't get such old papers. It has a PDF. I always like that. And we're going to go to, let's see, 23 to 24. And type, uh, I don't like reviews, meta-analysis is nice, systematic review, longitudinal is always nice. All right, what else? Abstracts, um, and we don't have to refine, I don't have to refine that, but you might want to refine that. Notice you can add columns like a summary, for example, and other columns, which is really nice. Let me close the left here so we don't have that. Okay, there. Notice we got rid of the left there, and now we've got more. So we've got um, the summary. We can add uh, main findings. Let's see what else we can add here. Okay, main findings. So we added two columns. If we go into the added, see what's available here. If we can add methodology, intervention, limitations. We can add all these columns so that we have them. Experimental techniques, participation age. These are very, very important elements of a research study. 
policy recommendation, population characteristics. I love that. Population, sex, age, uh, organism if we're doing that, region, measured variables, dependent, very independent. Everything is super important. Future study, I always like that. Research gaps, I can add that as well. So notice all these things are possible for us to add. Let's go back here to the filters. Okay, added that. Sort most relevant, most recent. I prefer most recent, but you can add this, sort them as you wish, which is an amazing feature as well. Right, so I'm going to go for the most recent. Notice I can go into the filters. I filtered the date and longitudinal the study. And um, abstract does not contain. Okay, we did that already. So the most recent is, as you can see, 2023. It hasn't been cited. And I can get the articles, Artificial Intelligence and Business, Exploring the Intersection and Research Methodology. I like that. Right, so let's uh, see what's available here. Let's click on the copy. We can also export as notice here. Okay, to Zotero RIS. CSV or BIB also for Zotero. Let's click on the article itself and notice what we get here. We get the whole article. Introduction, importance of AI in today's role of research. Isn't that amazing? Lovely, right? Okay, so we're going to click on the copy that if we wish to go into it, we'll go into it in a minute. Or we can go into, notice here, Semantic Scholar, which is also part of Elicit. Click on Semantic Scholar. And here we go. And uh, here is the article in the International Journal of Innovative Research and in Engineering and Multidisciplinary Physical Sciences. Okay, so here's the article. Notice uh, we can view it or hide it. We can also download it and notice uh, there's the Creative Commons attribution, share alike. Going to go for, there's the view, click on the view and here it comes. As I said, we can also download it. So here is the article. Isn't that amazing? We can read it. We can summarize it using PDF gear, which is one of the tools that I use. Let's go back into Elicit once again. If you're having problems with Semantic Scholar and it doesn't open in your browser window, I suggest that you go into Semantic Scholar, get an account, of course, and then you simply paste the title here and then you search for the actual article. And here it is. Now, this is where you get the citation because you don't get the citation on Elicit. This is a chance for you to get a citation. Let me click. You could also get the PDF and save it. Click on the citation, and here is the citation APA style. You might want MLA or Chicago or Bib Text. Okay, in my case, uh, APA is just fine. And then you can copy it straight here. You can also export to Bib Text or EndNote and go to Library if you want to bulk export. All right, so uh, that's the article here. You can also click on it, notice here, and, uh, and get the article. Okay, which I've already opened, Paradigm and Research, which is right here. It's not amazing? That's Elicit for you. So what else can you do on Elicit? So stay tuned for more new things that are coming up at Elicit in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and enjoy Elicit.